Your experts knew the truth. Your spokesperson knew the truth. Greg Hicks knew the truth. But what troubles me more is I think you knew the truth. I want to show you a few things here. You're looking at an email you sent to your family. Here's what you said. At 11 o'clock that night, approximately one hour after you told the American people it was a video, you say to your family, two officers were, were killed today in Benghazi by an Al-Qaeda-like group. You tell, you tell the American people one thing, you tell your family an entirely different story. Also, on the night of the attack, you had a call with the president of Libya. Here's what you said to him. Ansar al-Sharia is claiming responsibility. It's interesting, Mr. Katala, one of the guys arrested and charged, actually belonged to that group. And finally, and most significantly, the next day, within 24 hours, you had a conversation with the Egyptian prime minister. You told him this, we know the attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. It was a planned attack, not a protest. Why didn't you tell the American people exactly what you told the Egyptian prime minister? Well, I think if you look at the statement that I made, I clearly said that it was an attack, and I also said that there were some who tried to justify Secretary it Clinton, on, the call, basis, on the basis of the video, Congressman, and I but, think but, it's... But, but, but real quick, calling it an attack is like saying the sky's blue. Of course it was an attack. Well, you know, I mean, it we shortly, want to know the truth. This, the statement you sent out was a statement on Benghazi, and you say vicious behavior as a response to inflammatory material on the internet. If that's not pointing as the motive of being a video, I don't know what is. And that's, certainly what, and that's certainly how the American people saw it. Well, well, Congressman, there was a lot of conflicting information that we were trying to make sense of. The situation was very fluid. It was fast moving. There was also a claim of responsibility by Ansar al-Sharia. And when I talked to the Egyptian prime minister, I said that this was uh, a claim of responsibility by Ansar al-Sharia, by a, uh, a group that was affiliated or at least wanted to be affiliated with al-Qaeda. Sometime after that, the next, next day, early the next morning after that, on the 12th or 13th, they retracted their claim of responsibility. Madam Secretary. And I think if, if you look at what all of us were trying to do, and... We were in a position, Congressman, of trying to make sense of a lot of incoming information and Madam, watch the way the intelligence community tried to make sense of it. Madam Secretary, and so all I there can was say not is nobody... There was not conflicting information the day of the attack because your press secretary said, if pressed, there's no connection between Cairo and Benghazi. It was clear. You're the ones who muddied it up, not the, not the information. I wrote a whole chapter about this in my book, Hard Choices. I'd be glad to send it to you, Congressman, because I think the insinuations uh, that you are making do a grave disservice to the hard work that people in the State Department, the intelligence community, the Defense Department, the White House did during the course of some very confusing and difficult days.